2021 Ford Bronco. I'm actually disappointed. Welcome to another episode of My Point Three Your Ranch. I am Chris. Uh, just prepping the uh, 73 for paint and thought, you know, I might as well make a video on the 2021 Bronco, not like all the specs and everything, because I know everybody's already done one of those and you don't need me telling you that because I think all of you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but just my, so I reserved one, right? I reserved one. Um, I, like all of you, were super excited about, uh, I was super excited about this launch and uh, you know, watched video after video for months on end on leaks of what it was gonna look like and what it was going to, uh, the uh, accessories it was gonna have, the, the tech sheets, um, what the interior was gonna look like, what the suspension was gonna be like. Um, so I nerded out on that quite a bit, held off on making a video about it because I really don't know much about it. So um, leave that to the others that have done more research than, than me. Uh, but um, I was so excited about this that I went to go buy my Raptor in January and um, one of the, I had two salespeople helping me in two different cities, one in Denver, one in Colorado Springs, the one in Denver sold me my Raptor, the one in Colorado Springs, unfortunately, I didn't buy a Raptor from him, uh, but I did ask him to, uh, you know, put me on the list for a Bronco. Uh, this is before the release. Uh, he said he would get right on that and then... COVID hit and uh, haven't heard from him since. But turns out that he wasn't gonna be able to do that for me anyway. Um, the night that the launch was going to hit, uh, made sure I was sitting right in front of the TV, six o'clock my time, uh, ABC, and then I was gonna go to the Facebook site and um, pull up the link and order the, or reserve the Bronco. So uh, ABC came on six o'clock my time. No commercial. There were no commercials. I didn't see it anyway. Uh, I know I was on ABC, so I went straight to the Facebook page and uh, looked through the um, the models uh, because I really didn't know all that much about the models. Uh, but uh, decided that hey, you know what? You're spending a hundred bucks. It is a fully refundable hundred bucks, by the way. So it's not like it's a big deal. Um, but there was only twenty five hundred supposed to be. 2,500 of the first editions uh, that were going to be reserved. So um, at this point, I'm, you know, super excited. Um, I kind of want the wild track more, I guess, but you can move down um, from the first edition if you want to. Um, so I thought, hey, you know what, I'll just go to a first edition. If I decide, you know, that I want a first edition, I'll at least have the option to do that. Um, so, um, so reserved first edition it took me a while. So I couldn't get it on my phone. It kept glitching out. The site would freeze. Um, so I jumped over to uh, my computer, and uh, it took me probably 15 minutes of just reloading the page and reloading the page, and finally got through. Reserved one, 100 bucks, done. Piece of cake. Got got a first edition. That's awesome. So that's not that's not where my disappointment is. I actually like the Bronco. I think it looks good. Um, and you know, I'm really excited about getting one. Uh, but then, uh, like two days later, I got an email that said, yeah, by the way, that 2,500 first editions that we were going to, um, limit it to now we've raised that to 7,000. So in the grand scheme of things, 7,000 is still pretty limited, but not as limited as 2,500. So that's where my disappointment is. So now do I want a first edition? So what's the difference between a wild track and a first edition? So, you know, I'm not gonna go through every single spec, but basically the first edition has a lot of the computer-aided driving um, items on it. Like, uh, it's got lane assist and it's got, you know, uh, the 3D camera and, you know, all this other stuff on it. Um, for a Bronco that I'm gonna be driving, hopefully off-road a lot, I don't need any of that stuff. And, and you know, I like old cars, you know, I like old, old vehicles. Just bought another old vehicle, actually, that, you guys don't know about yet um, and I'll tell you about that later but um, you know I don't need lane assist and those things I don't even know if I would use them um, I don't have it on the Raptor because the Raptor is a 2013 uh, but if I had it I wouldn't use it I don't need it 
I'm a very analog driver. I pay attention to the road and, you know, make sure that uh, I don't get any accidents and that's kind of how I've lived my life. So I don't need all this other stuff. And, and then the, and the difference in price is like 10 grand, 15 grand, something like that. Um, so the wild track actually makes more sense than the first edition. So now that it's 7,000, that they're doing 7,000 first editions, and, and they'll probably even go up from there, and they may have gone up from there, but the last email I got was that it was 7,000. You know, the email basically read, we're really sorry if this changes your mind and you want a refund, just let us know. If you want to move to a different model, just let us know. So they, they obviously know that the people who um, kind of worked their magic and got into the site and got the first 2,500 were not going to be super excited about this. So... Um, has it diminished my um, my love for the Bronco? No, it, it has not. Uh, in my life, I have bought one new car. It was a 1990 Mustang. Fresh out of high school, spent the money on it. It was uh, $9,999. Um, first and last new car I ever bought. Everything else from there, I let somebody else take the depreciation and then I buy the car. The Raptor, got a smoking deal on it. Uh, let somebody else take the depreciation. Now I can drive that car for a while and not lose a single dime on that truck. Um, so this will be the first new vehicle I buy uh, in a long time. Um, so uh, a little nervous about that. Don't know if this Bronco is going to be worth it. Uh, don't know if maybe I should wait for a couple of years after it comes out and get a used one. Uh, let let the depreciation sink. Um, and now that the first edition is not 2500 and why is that messing with my brain? Why, why is that messing with my brain? Is it really a big deal? No, it's probably not a big deal. In two years after this thing comes out, there's going to be so many of them on the road, it's not even going to be special anymore. So, you know, what what do I care? Uh, but that, that now brings me to um, the meat of this video is... At this point, do I jump down to a wild track or do I go all the way, all the way down to the base? Okay, listen to me. Go all the way down to the base. 30 grand, 28 grand, 30 grand, whatever it is. Taxes, everything else, 32, whatever that is. Um, and immediately chop it into pieces, okay? Put an aftermarket suspension on it. Um, find a uh, a new-ish Raptor engine, um, and uh, like from a 2018, 2019. Um, procure that before the Bronco comes out. And as soon as it comes in, yank the motor, place this Raptor engine there, do an engine swap. Um, then take the uh, Bronco motor and put it in one of the two Broncos that I have. You know, and obviously this is. Very big picture. I haven't looked at any of the research on whether or not, you know, this is even doable. Uh, but I'm trying to plan. I've got a year now to plan what I'm going to do. So I'm either going to go wall track or I'm going to go all the way down to a base, buy a base, and then do a full build on it, like, immediately. Like, buy all the, everything I can get for it early. And then as soon as it comes into the shop, blast it out and, um, and basically just put all new parts in it. Um, what do you think? What do you think? Think I should keep the first edition and stop crying, do a wild track and get rid of all the electronic crap, uh, or go down to a base and uh, build it up from scratch? I think that would be really interesting because at that point there won't be a lot, a lot of Broncos that are um, anything other than stock. So that might be the way to go. Leave leave uh, your comments in the description there and let me know which one you think is the best deal um, for me. And, uh, and we may end up going that way. Who knows? Who knows what this channel will be like in a year from now and whether or not I actually finish, finish one of these Broncos. I'm going to finish this Bronco. I'm going to finish this Bronco. That's a wrap for my point through garage. Tell me what I should do with the Bronco. And, and, oh. and subscribe.